Ciao ragazzi. Bienvenuti a Roma. Day 28. My last day. Whew. Bittersweet. I mean, I'm, I don't want to go home. But I could use a little bit of a rest. Um, don't know what I'm planning for today. Uh, I'm still feeling a little under the weather. So let's find out uh, what we can do on one last day in Rome. Let's go. Okay, walking up the hill might have been a bit ambitious today, <laughs> but I got here. So this is another one of those optical illusion streets where St. Peter's, it looks a lot bigger than it actually is. And as I go down the street, it will actually seem a lot smaller than right here. I was just going to take the bus back, but uh, I found this park um, with a little trail that will head me in sort of the right direction. I don't know. It's either going to be a lovely walk or another one of those like, uh, Preston, what adventure did you get me into? Let's find out. Okay, so I got some cool drone shots. Went on a small little adventure and uh, uh, brought the uh, footage back. Now I'm off to go get me some uh, olive oil to take home. Head to the market. Perfect. Got my olive oil and my lunch. The more I was thinking about what I wanted to do on my last day, the more I, I thought, you know, this is typical. This is exactly what I do every time I leave a place, is I take one last day to wander around. Um, not necessarily checking out things that uh, I, I missed, um, but, you know, you happen upon a few places. So, let's see where else I can get to. Something really special about being in the Parthenon on Rome's birthday. That's pretty cool.
crazy to think I started my day very far on the opposite side of St. Peter. So that's it. 28 days in Rome. 90 days total in Europe. I've been trying to think of what I was going to say about this trip ending. Uh, and I've been thinking about it all day. This trip was all about going to like very significant historical cities and seeing what kind of adventures I can get on. And, uh, you know, Seville was amazing. Avignon was so charming and fantastic to just be around. And Rome is just, you know, full of history, just so much stuff. And, you know, I, I've mentioned this several times. I'm not really into the Catholic stuff. I'm not uh, religious. Um, but I love the history and I love the art and I love the architecture and St. Pete's Dome, uh, you know, I could take pictures of that, of that over and over and over again and I'm not going to get tired of it. And, uh, well, as, as you've seen, right, <laughs> that's all I seem to do. And, um, yeah, I've had a great time. I don't want to go home. I really don't. I don't know... I don't know what's next. I'm getting a little emotional, thinking about, uh, you know, the opportunity that I've had to see what I've been able to see and just experience everything. And, you know, it's amazing. And so, yeah, I just want to say thank you for everybody watching. Uh, once I get home, I'm going to start uh, putting together some uh, uh, videos on specific topics as opposed to like daily um, you know, vlogging opinion kind of stuff, um, based on all that I've experienced and everywhere that I've went. Um, hopefully I've got enough, uh, enough videos to entertain you guys until I can save up money to do this all again. I don't know. I don't know when that's going to be, and I don't know where that's going to be, but it's going to be a fun adventure trying to figure it out. So one last time from Rome. Adomani, Arrivederci, <laughs> and ciao. You know, I gotta tell you, I'm so tired. Uh, this cold kicked my butt, and uh, I kept moving though, because it's the last day, and this is my last chance, right? <laughs>